హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ మెడికల్ హెల్త్ సర్వీసెస్ రిక్రూట్మెంట్ బోర్డ్ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ రిక్రూట్మెంట్ రిపీటెడ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఈజీ టు ప్రిపేర్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎంసీక్యూస్ ఇవి ప్రీవియస్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్స్ నుంచి చేసినవి సో మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్కి షేర్ చేయండి మళ్ళీ న్యూగా కొత్త పోస్ట్ పడ్డాయి ఫార్మసిస్కి వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ స్టే సేఫ్ స్టే హెల్దీ మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్కి షేర్ చేయండి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి ఏదైనా క్వశ్చన్ కేర్ఫుల్గా చదివితే మనకి ఆన్సర్ ఈజీగా వస్తుంది ప్రతి ఆన్సర్కి ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ బాక్స్ ఒకటి పెట్టాను అది చదవండి రిపీటెడ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ తర్వాత ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎంసీక్యూస్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ వన్స్ ఇక్కడ నేను ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేశాను సో మీరు ఛానల్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి షేర్ చేయండి జాగ్రత్తగా కేర్ఫుల్గా చూసి కమెంట్ బాక్స్లో ఆన్సర్ పెట్టండి సో మాక్ టెస్ట్ ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడం వల్ల మీరు ఈజీగా కన్ఫ్యూజన్ లేకుండా రాయచ్చు సో కమింగ్ టు ద క్వశ్చన్స్ జనరల్లీ స్టిరాయిడల్ హార్మోన్స్ ఆర్ అడ్మినిస్టర్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ డెంటల్ కోన్స్ బి మల్టీలేయర్ ట్యాబ్లెట్స్ సి ఇంప్లాంట్స్ డి సాల్యుబుల్ ట్యాబ్లెట్స్ steroidal hormones in which form it is administered think yes it is answer c implants a steroid hormone is a steroid that acts as a hormone steroid hormones can be grouped into two classes corticosteroids and sex steroids and here is an explanation for implants steroidal hormones are often administered in the form of implants these implants are small solid pellets containing the hormone which are inserted subcutaneously beneath the skin remaining explanation is here you can read it so the answer is b implants gelatin is hydrolyzed product of a pectin b tannin c shellac d collagen think the answer and write your answer in the comment box yes the answer is option d collagen collagen is protein molecules made up of amino acids it provides structural support to the extracellular space of connective tissues it is perfect matrix for skin tendons bones and ligaments here is an explanation gelatin is a hydrolyzed protein derived from collagen Collagen is a fibrous protein found in animal skins, bones and cartilage. Gelatin is a transparent, flavorless solid and water-soluble protein. Read the remaining explanation. In India, the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission is responsible for publishing the Indian Pharmacopoeia. What impact does the IP have on the pharmaceutical industry in India? Read the options carefully. A, B, C and D. Yes, the answer is B. It sets the standards for drug quality and provides protocol for testing to ensure the safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical products marketed in India. Coming to the explanation, the Indian Pharmacopoeia IP is a crucial document that sets the standards for drug quality in India. It is published by the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission IPC and serves as an official compendium for the standards of drugs, pharmaceutical products and their components. Conductivity of a solution is measured using a device called A pH meter, B conductivity cell, C spectrophotometer, D flame photometer. Thinking? Put your answer in the comment box. Yes. The answer is B conductivity cell. Conductivity cell is also known as a conductivity probe or electrode. A conductivity cell is made up of a metal electrode. To measure conductivity, a voltage is applied. Explanation: A conductivity cell is a device specifically designed to measure the electrical conductivity of a solution. Conductivity is a measure of a solution's ability to conduct electricity which is directly related to the concentration of ions in the solution. Which theory of indicators is primarily used for elements like sodium and potassium under a flame? A. Arrhenius theory B. Bronsted-Lowry theory C. Lewis theory D. Flame emission theory Got the answer? Yes, the answer is D. Flame Emission Theory Flame Emission Theory also known as Flame Emission Spectroscopy or Flame Photometry. It is a method that analyzes the light emitted by atoms in a flame. Explanation Flame Emission Theory is primarily used for the detection and quantification of elements like sodium and potassium. This theory is based on the principle that when the atoms are heated in a flame, they absorb energy and become excited. 
in complexometric titration the solution is known concentration is often one of a mercury chloride d ammonium thiocyanate c edta d sulfuric acid got the answer yes the answer is c edta ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid it is a medication used in the management and treatment of heavy metal toxicity it is in the chelating class of drugs explanation edta is a chelating agent that can bind to metal ions through multiple coordination sites forming a complex that is often more stable than those formed with singular ligands in diazotization titration the primary chemical reaction involves the formation of a a bromide complex b a nitrogen gas c a diazonium salt d an ester link yes the answer is option c a diazonium salt a diazonium salt is an organic compound that contains a nitrogen nitrogen triple bond and an alkyl side group it is a colorless crystalline solid in diazotization titration an aromatic amine reacts with nitrous acid to form a diazonium salt this reaction is fundamental for the determination of the amount of amine present in a sample read the explanation carefully prostaglandin analogs in ulcer therapy causes a diarrhea b abortion c uterine bleeding d all of the above write an answer in the comment box yes got it the answer is option d all of the above giving the multiple effects of prostaglandin analogs all of the above the medications can cause diarrhea abortion and uterine bleeding thus requiring careful consideration particularly in women of childbearing age explanation prostaglandin analogs such as misoprostol or used in ulcer therapy as they help to protect the stomach lining by increasing the production of mucus and bicarbonate however these medications can cause multiple side effects due to their action on their various tissues in the body following is not a substrate for cypiaq isoenzyme a caffein b methadone c paracetamol d tacrin did you got the answer yes the answer is option b methadone the cytochrome p450 isoenzymes represent a family of more than 30 related heme containing enzymes largely located in the endoplasmic reticulum there are three types of isoenzymes coming to the explanation methadone is not a substrate for the cyp1a2 isoenzyme instead it is primarily metabolized by other cytochrome p450 enzymes particularly cyp2b6 and cyp3a4 how many isoprene units are there in triterpenoids a4 b3 c2 d6 here the question is triterpenoids got the answer count it yes the answer is d6 triterpenes are a large group of a naturally occurring substances with relatively complex cyclic structures consisting of a carbon skeleton based on six isoprene units here explanation is given each terpene unit is built from two isoprene units which means that a triterpenoid having three terpene units consists of six isoprene units in total dna gyrase inhibitor is a tetracycline b quinolones c monobactam d erythromycin quickly put an answer in the comment box yes the answer is option b quinolones quinolones are a class of antibiotics that inhibit dna gyrase an enzyme that relaxes and supercoils dna quinolones bind to the dna gyrase complex here is an explanation by inhibiting dna gyrase quinolones prevent the supercoiling of dna which is necessary for the replication and transcription processes 
This leads to the disruption of bacterial DNA replication and eventually causes bacterial cell death. The drug gamicacin is derived from A. canamycin, B. cisomycin, C. gentamicin, D. neomycin. Got the answer? Yes. From where this drug amicacin is derived? Yes, the answer is option A. canamycin. Amicacin is a semi-synthetic aminoglycide antibiotic that is derived from canamycin A. Amicacin shares many physical, chemical, pharmacologic and toxicologic properties with canamycin. Here is an explanation. It is used to treat a variety of bacterial infections, particularly those caused by gram-negative bacteria. Amicacin is an aminoglycide antibiotic derived from canamycin A. The hardness range of tablets is usually A 1 to kg, B 0.5 to 1 kg, C 3 to 7 kg, D none of the above. Got the answer? How to calculate the hardness of the tablet? Yes, the answer is C 3 to 7 kg. Oral tablets have a hardness of 4 to 10 kg. But hypodermic and chewable tablets have a hardness of 3 kg and sustained release tablets have about 10 to 20 kg. Here is an explanation. The typical hardness range for tablets is 3 to 7 kg. This range ensures that the tablets are neither too soft which could lead to crumbling nor too hard which could make them difficult to dissolve once ingested. Precursor of thyroxine, epinephrine and norepinephrine is A. Phenylalanine, B. Valine, C. Threonine, D. Tyrosine. Yes, did you got the answer? Put it in a comment box. Yes, the answer is A. Phenylalanine. Phenylalanine is used in some artificial sweetness. It tends to decrease appetite. It's been used to treat obesity. Coming to the explanation, phenylalanine is an essential amino acid that serves as a precursor for several important biochemical compounds including thyroxine, epinephrine and norepinephrine. Which among the following is contraindicated in patients with eGFR less than 15 mg per ml 1.75 m2? A. Insulin, B. Metformin, C. Linagliptin, D. None of the above. The answer is B. Metformin. Metformin is used alone or with other medications including insulin to treat type 2 diabetes. Metformin is in a class of drugs called bigunides. Here is an explanation where it is contraindicated. Metformin is contraindicated in patients with an estimated glomerular federation rate that is EGFR less than 15 ml per minute per 1.73 meter square. This is due to increased risk of lactic acidosis, a rare but serious complication. Stay safe, stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more. If you like the video, please share and subscribe so that you will get a proper explanation for every bit. These are important and repeated questions. Thank you.